exciting and obviously a little bit frustrating with the amount of times I was that close uh, in my first year. I think I was emergency eight times or something like that. I remember Ken pulling me aside early in the week and saying, I've been doing the right things throughout the pre-season, been playing well in the practice matches and um, he said I was ready to play. Where one of them will be Miles Bergman, which is great news and uh, you know, a good draft pick of ours, but he, his pre-season has been you know, faultless and he's ready to go and good on him, he's going to get an opportunity. This is a special club. Um, it's a hard working club, it's a club with an enormous amount of tradition um, and success and I think you're going to fit in just fine mate. Because my parents couldn't come into the rooms, they came into the hotel the night before when we had our team meeting and um, got my jumper handed to me by uh, Monty and my parents were there to witness that which was, was really good as well. In the morning you're just excited, you're ready to go, you're just up and about and you want to get started and then once the bus goes into the stadium and you walk into the room so you start to get really nervous, you get a bit quiet and you walk out on the ground and just soak it all in. But once the siren goes and the game starts, you sort of just in the moment, just wanted to get that first touch and once that's out of the way, you just feel at home and it feels like another game. But he got it to Walker, who couldn't complete the deal. Bergman in his first game for Port Adelaide, hands it up to Amon, to Bonner. To Monlock. Back to Bergman. Second season at the club, first AFL game. Definitely that first touch. Um, I think you remember that forever. I think every kid will. Um, as well as just having a good win um, round one and um, having the boys get around you after the game. Yeah, it's been a lifelong dream for me. Ever since I could pick up a footy, I was trying to kick it, trying to run around and um, be like my dad and play footy and he taught me a whole lot along the way and yeah, it's just a massive dream come true and um, I'll remember it forever, definitely.